And the most famous footballer in the world, backed by one of the most famous sportswear brands in the world but maybe not forever. Nike has expressed deep concern about a rape allegation against Cristiano Ronaldo, and other consequences are starting to pile up. EA seems to have scrubbed the Portuguese star from all online promotions for its FIFA 19 game. The Portuguese national team has left him off the roster for upcoming matches. The club he currently plays for, Juventus, has defended him, though, on Twitter, saying he showed great professionalism and dedication in his time so far with the club. Well, Ronaldo has denied the allegation allegations uh, as well as denying those on Twitter. Uh, I'm joined now in the studio for more on this uh, by our sports editor Andy Rubini. Good morning to you Andy. Uh, big names, Nike, EA, uh, obviously a lot of big money at stake here. How big of a blow is this for Ronaldo? Well it's never a good sign when your two biggest uh, sponsors come up with these statements. Nike did say that they were monitoring the situation and, and deeply concerned, so did EA Sports. He does have a contract with Nike since 2003, it's uh, worth approximately one billion dollars. He's also the, the, the face of the uh, EA Sports uh, brand and uh, on different covers of uh, the FIFA games which are very popular. Um, so this is not uh, so much, uh, it's not a, a sporting issue, it's more marketing. So maybe uh, whether he's guilty or innocent, his image is already tarnished. So it'll be interesting to see if these conditions change in the future. He has had the support of his club Juventus and also the Portuguese FA. Yes, he has been left out uh, of the squad right now, but this, this was following a three-way conversation between himself, the national team coach Santa and uh, the head of the Portuguese FA. So it was a joint decision. It's also probably a way um, for Santos to give youth a chance. You know that they're preparing for Euro 2020. They'll be trying to retain their European crown. So it's just um, a joint decision and, and just a way to, to kind of give him some headspace. And can you bring us up to date uh, with the investigation? And for those of our viewers who may be haven't followed this story, what those allegations against him are? Well, uh, back, uh, well, Ronaldo and his legal team will have less than 20 days to respond to a lawsuit which was filed, filed by uh, Catherine Mayorga and uh, her legal team. Um, she's claiming that uh, the Portuguese superstar uh, raped her back in 2009 in a hotel in uh, Las Vegas. Uh, these reports initially came through a German magazine. Cristiano Ronaldo was quick to deny uh, these claims. Uh, he took, um, he went onto his Instagram account, released a video, said all of this was fake. In the meantime, the uh, Las Vegas police reopened an investigation because at the time uh, there was a report which had been filed, just uh, Catherine uh, Mayorga hadn't uh, given any details on the location or on the, the person who assaulted her back then. Absolutely, so that investigation continues. Thank you very much, uh, Andy. And of course, uh, we should say that Cristiano Ronaldo continues to deny those allegations against him.